Alright guys, new year, new me. Over the holidays, I bought myself some smart home tech for my kitchen. All of this happened due to a plumbing incident and I felt it was a good time to handle some other grievances I had with my kitchen. I had one requirement though, make sure it's beginner friendly. So here are five automations plus some bonuses for beginners. This is the voicemail automation. Let's say you're running errands and the clothes you placed in the washer had finished. Instead of sending you a notification to your phone, your home can send a notification to itself. This message would sit in a queue with any other notification that you may have had and when you come home, First message, the clothes in the washer are done. This automation is a throwback to the 90s when my parents came home and pressed the play button on the answering machine in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you may have remembered that. Now for this automation, your play button can be anything you want. In my case, I'm using the Akara E1. Now this is a camera that has a motion sensor in it and it activates when you enter the kitchen, which is pretty convenient. But I know some of you don't like cameras in your home so you can actually have some alternatives like the millimeter wave sensor or a motion sensor instead. Now the automation I want you to focus on in this situation is the voicemail part, but some of you may be more excited about how the notifications got into this queue and the particulars about the voicemail. Watch to the end and you're gonna find out. The amazing part about this automation is that it can work with all kinds of situations. For example, my home will save a voicemail if mail was delivered while I was away. Message two. The mail was delivered. This is a really flexible automation, so go crazy with it. The second automation is pretty straightforward and it's using this. Oh wait, hold on. All right. All right, so it's using this. This is a car's water leak sensor. About two months ago, I noticed a bit of water by the sink, but I, I didn't think too much of it because we have a messy four-year-old. But when we saw the water again there in the morning, we knew that there was a problem. Turns out there was some loose plumbing. Though we caught it early, it concerned me and my wife. And the issue is that like, it could have happened while we were gone. Like it could have been much, much worse. And here's the crazy part though. This is so easy to catch with something like this. All you need is a leak sensor from Akara or any other place. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't even have to be Akara. As long as you can get alerted when there's a leak. And there's a combo move you can do with this. So you're gonna need this right, right here. This is a smart plug. Most dishwashers, they empty the water into the same plumbing as the sink. Now this is why we found water the following morning since we had run the dishwasher right before going to bed. Now, you could use the smart plug to shut off the power to the dishwasher if a leak is detected. And in our case, this could have saved us so much time and cleanup in the following morning. These two devices together, right here, this combo, this could literally save you thousands of dollars in damages. And if you want a more robust solution, SwitchBot has a water shutoff valve. You find a leak, shut it down. That's it. What's cool about all of this is that some of these devices can be used in multiple ways. But I'm gonna warn you from now, you should be prepared because if your setup runs too well, irony will get you like it got me. Remember how I said that the leak started because we ran the dishwasher the night before? Well, I have an automation that uses this smart plug to remind me to run the dishwasher because I always forget. By using a smart plug like this one, Akara can read the energy output and dynamically know whether or not the dishwasher ran. If the dishwasher didn't run between the designated time, I get a notification right before bed. The dishwasher is dirty. All right, so this one is my favorite and I think it's also my wife's favorite too, and you'll see why shortly. My family has a habit of turning on lights wherever they go. And unfortunately, they leave it on as they go too. Now this gets really annoying, especially when I'm in bed, getting all comfy and the kitchen lights are on. Who wants to get out of bed after that, huh? So of course my, my lovely wife 
Rather, I turn it off, then I get out of bed, you know, and get uncomfortable. Worst problem to have. So I fixed this first world problem by replacing the lights in the kitchen with this from Casa. Now, it doesn't have to be this version in particular. This is the three-way kit. So if your lights have like the whole three-way and controlled by two, two light switches, if it's controlled by one, there's a one gang or one way version that you can use. But this is the one that I use and I have it controlling the main lights and I have it controlling the lights over the peninsula. Now, when the house powers down for the night, so does these lights. It's so simple, so effective. We don't have this problem anymore. Pause. If you're finding this valuable, click the like button and share this with a friend who's into smart homes. Or you can share it with your enemies. I'm an equal opportunist. This one is interesting, but I admit it's gonna be a little bit gimmicky. I remembered a while back reading a comment on my Akara FP2 video where I used automations in like really amazing ways for the FP2 sensor. Well, on there, uh, a user commented about an automation that could be used to shame late night fridge trolls. And this automation is a play off of that idea. If you have a smart fridge, that's great. It should basically know when the door is open. If you don't have a smart fridge, then you can get the same effect by using a door window sensor and placing it at the top of the fridge so no one can see it. Now, if you combine that idea with, let's say a motion or a present sensor, then you can probably create a divorceable event. Sleeping on the couch would be the least of your concerns. Now here's something special I think you're gonna find interesting. All of the devices I talked about in this video is available using the first link in the description. The video was not sponsored at all by Akara or any of the people that you saw here. None of it was sponsored. I'm simply giving you ideas for free and all of this stuff I bought myself. If you like the ideas and would like to support the channel, I would really appreciate it if you can use the affiliate links when you visit down below. At no additional cost to you, I get a small commission assuming you don't use honey a lot of the automation ideas are pretty straightforward and can be done on the vanilla home assistant however if you notice I write all of my automation using an add-on called Node-RED. I get all the benefits of Home Assistant plus additional automation tools and techniques unique to Node-RED. For example, the voicemail automation was originally built exclusively for Node-RED because it used a powerful tool that allowed you to create cues and flush messages. However, when the to-do integration was introduced to Home Assistant, I found a workaround that made it work natively for it. Another cool example is basically using AI. The automation for the dishwasher reminder could be done in Home Assistant, but I can easily extend it to use Node-RED and craft a dynamic message in the style of, let's say, Jarvis using AI. And I know that seems pretty gimmicky, but what I like about it is that because I'm using it within Node-RED, I can do all of that without exposing any of my entities. So whether you're new to Node-RED or you're a veteran looking to refresh your smart home, you can find out more here in the Node-RED Made Simple space. As promised, you can watch this video here to learn more about the voicemail automation, or you can watch this video here to create your own smart laundry. And as a bonus, you can watch this video here to learn creative use cases for the millimeter wave sensor. Uh -huh.